How to do laundry in a college dorm. The absolute worst time to do laundry is when you are frantic, you have no clean underwear, and there's a line to use every washer and dryer. Every campus is different, but usually the best times to do laundry are on weekday afternoons or during big events, such as football games. Weekends and nights are typically when laundry rooms are the busiest. Some campuses offer apps that alert you when washers are available, so take advantage of that if you have one. Believe it or not, you probably have more workspace to sort laundry in your tiny dorm room than you will in the laundry room. In your dorm room, you have your bed and furniture on which you can sort laundry. But in the laundry room, any communal space might already be spoken for. So take the time to sort your laundry by colors and fabrics before you head to the laundry room. Because washer sizes vary, learning how to gauge exactly how much laundry equals one load on a new-to-you machine is tough, especially if this is the first time you've ever done laundry. To give you a guideline, fill the washer with your dirty clothes without stuffing them in. Then, return the clothes to your empty laundry basket or hamper. This will allow you to see just how full your basket or hamper can be to fill a washer load. Laundry can be full of surprises, especially in a communal laundry room. Before you set something on a surface in the laundry room, make sure it is clean. At best, you'll encounter sticky detergent residue. At worst, you'll find chlorine bleach that will permanently ruin your clothes. As you start your first load of laundry, check the time. Stay with your laundry to time how long it takes for the washer to complete the load. Do the same thing when you load laundry in the dryer. Items can easily get mixed up in a communal laundry room. For that reason, it's ideal to stay with your load to monitor things. But if you have to leave while your clothes are in the washer or dryer, at least make sure anything you plan to leave behind, such as your laundry hamper, detergent, or dryer sheets, is labeled with your name. Before you start the dryer, make sure the lint trap is clean. You'll prevent fires, and your clothes will dry faster. Then, set the heat to medium. Many commercial dryers run very hot, and you can end up damaging your clothes if the heat is too high. If you fold as you go when clothes come out of the dryer, you'll get fewer wrinkles in your clothes. Final folding can be done back in your dorm room. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.